And unfortunately, got a flat tire. Welcome to Sicily by Ape. Located 30 kilometers west of Palermo on the north coast of Sicily, Terracini is a small seafront town. In recent years, it's become a very popular tourist destination due to its stunning seaside cliffs, amazing piazza, and its proximity to the Palermo airport. trip thing is this is obviously a pretty unique front tire it's not as normal I don't think as changing a back tire so I've kind of got to figure out I'm not exactly sure how to do it to be completely honest As you could see, this is like totally bent right here. It's like, um, I don't know how well you can tell, but this size is one size bigger. Ciao, buongiorno. E possiamo inglese, parla inglese, o solo italiano? Uh, Chippo Lazo uh, Chinesi? No. No. Ah, okay. Okay, va bene. Okay, grazie. Prego. Yeah, so they aren't coming out here. All right, well, thankfully, it's not the hottest day so far this year. Of oh, sarcasm, if you didn't pick up on that. Uh, I've got a walk. I'm gonna go into town. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe he lets me borrow one or I, I can buy a new one. I'm not really sure. But, oh, hello, Dalmatian, that's rare. I gotta get a new one of these so that I can get the tire off so that I can take the tire to a tire store. We have success.
not completely flat, but it's only better by um, by so much. So it's definitely quite soft as well. I'm just gonna try and just really slowly get back to that tire shop and have them fix, hopefully fix the original that went flat, as well as just pump this one up for me. And hopefully that's the end of the tire saga. Test. Perfetto. <laughs> Okay. Ciao, buonasera. Ciao, ciao. Buon viaggio. Grazie. Grazie. The Torre di Capo Rama, or Tower of Cape Rama, is among the oldest in existence with a circular plan. Built in 1405, it is the oldest building in the municipal area of Terracini. The tower is one of 11 coastal watchtowers in the area and has been noted throughout history as an important site. both fixed. The spare was a bit flat and obviously the other one went flat. So those are both fully pumped up. The bad news is I'm still dealing with that issue where it's definitely backfiring quite a bit and it's just it doesn't have the same amount of uh, kind of spunk if you would that I had the first several days of the trip, the first week of the trip. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put gas in, fill it up a bit, let it sit for a second and hope that that helps. Castel Mare del Golfo can be translated as Sea Fortress on the Gulf, stemming from the medieval fortress in the harbour. In 827 AD, the Arabs invaded Castel Mare del Golfo and called it Al Marreg, which means the steps. It was the Arabs who first built the castle, which was later enlarged by the Normans. Today, the town's economy continues to be based on fishing. In recent years, Castel Mare has become an important tourist location as it's conveniently situated between Palermo and Trapani. So on the plus side, I've basically made it to where I was trying to get to tonight anyway. There's some good restaurants here. I didn't quite make it to the place, but the sun was already over the hill and I thought, you know what, it's not even gonna be that spectacular right now anyway. I mean, I'm sure it would be amazing. That's a lot of steps. 
Okay. Whoa. Almost lost the drone. Okay, I'm so dirty and <laughs> I'm still having a great time, but it's definitely been uh, a bit of an afternoon. Besides the fact that I have to be a little bit of added stress and the fact that I have to be back in Chinchana in in basically two days, it's really hard to be mad or complain or be really all that stressed when, um, I mean, it's insane. And this is just, yeah, it's 